So we'll start out with our anchor placement, and the first anchor is going to be at the more inferior aspect of the insertion point. As I already mentioned, we're going to medialize this slightly. So we'll line this up, and the first thing we'll take is a punch to get this, and we can externally rotate the shoulder just a, li just a little bit. This is very hard bone here in this lady, so we're going to tap the bone so we make sure that our anchor doesn't have problems being inserted. Once we get the, the bone tapped, then we'll insert our anchor. This is a 5.5 fully threaded bioabsorbable anchor. And even with the tap, you can uh, sense it's a very strong bone, and we'll go down to the laser mark. And then we'll shoot, and we'll do the passing without the grabber. And this will get easier as we come further up the subscapularis. There are a couple of different ways to do this. We can use either a crochet hook or a suture grabbing device. This is the more typical way that most people like to use to grab the wire loop. And as we already did, we set ourselves up by having the suture out of the cannula. So we just pull the wire loop out. And then once that's out, we can pass our suture through the loop that's created and then pull back on the wire to make sure that it's capturing it well. And we can see inside that it is. And then we'll just advance this on out. And then just another technique that we can demonstrate is we'll take a crochet hook and we can do a single pass within the glenohumeral joint. And the way we do that is a little bit more uh, technically demanding, but we go through our, our suture wire and then we can come back to our actual suture itself and we pass around that suture. And as we come around, we just turn our crochet hook and thread this through. And that'll give us another way to try to thread this suture through uh, the wire loop. And then we can pop this on through. We'll take our suture lasso. And again, we have to keep working back down towards our other sutures. And we have to always keep in mind that medial border, that attachment point. So we want to come down close to that again, come on through our tissue and out, and make sure that this is not over tensioning the repair. We have to go a little bit medial to the capsule, but maybe a little bit less than what we just did to try again not to over tension our repair. Come through with our crochet hook, slide around our wire loop, back to our suture, and then through. And once that's been captured, we can then pass our wire back down and out the front. And this will be the last one for this anchor. And then we're gonna have to do all these steps over again for one more anchor to set the top part of our repair. And that's our first anchor. And if we pull on our sutures, you can see what's happening. This is coming back into the position that we want it to. But it's the lower part of the repair, and although it's looking nice, we still need to get that upper rolled edge into place. So we'll take our sutures out of this anterior cannula. We'll put a hemostat on that so that we don't get confused uh, and grab the wrong stitch. And then we'll get ready to put our second and final anchor in for the subscapularis repair.